Alright, so hi there YouTube, it's me, Morris Seed America again, and in this video I'm just gonna be like a, well, technically I'll be checking around the place and see about the new content and the new stuff that they got out right now. So, the collection file has completely changed from last time, um, the expiration date is on, well, it's next month, so most likely these things will disappear on me, and I don't know why the items are not showing for this collection file sheet. Um, what is it telling me to do? Oh, it's the Halloween stuff, isn't it? Well, I'm missing a good amount of stuff already. Uh, what is this one? This is the Vegas one. Oh, a new map? Huh, that's nice. Let's see if I can unlock it. Most likely I can't unlock it unless I do the Arcs quest. And is it even available for me? No, I don't see it. Oh, because this guy didn't even do the... He didn't even do the... What is it? He didn't do Tokyo. That's why I can't do it. Yeah, bonus quest is still here. Limited quests. Darkness from the Chaos. That's an old, um, limited quest. It's not even a good... Well, I don't think a lot of people are spamming this quest either, are they? Let's see. Uh, let's see, view crime, hmm, join party on the party on another block, yeah, not a lot of people are doing these anymore unless it's really, really new. Uh, everything is still the same, it's just that, that quest, I need to figure out how to unlock it, unless Coffee tells me how to unlock it, no, she doesn't, so, uh, what else is new, treasure shop is still here, Apparently I got a bingo for that. Okay, so these are the quest triggers, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me see what I can purchase with Mesetta. I think that's a silver... Wait, I don't know what this is. It could be an accessory. Um, no clue what that is, because my thing's not translated yet. But yeah, it looks like everything is still the same. I think. Actually, I've never seen this person around either. Okay, yeah, this is new. I have no clue what this is. is... Why isn't it showing me my bingo stuff for talking to these people? Alright, so all of that is still the same. You still need to do daily orders so you can get a good amount of money. There's still Hans. Um, I need to get all of those items out from my visa before it expires. Let's talk to money making guy over here. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah right. I still have quests that I didn't turn in. Um, ignore that, people. Technically, I should turn them in in because I don't do a lot of these money making quests on this character because he mains fits fists so weapons. I do need to make a dual saber for him, however, and I should be. I shouldn't be using my fighter class to actually get this experience. Alright, so it seems like there's no new client orders from Kletho unless I need to unlock them. But it doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll check out the bump details again. And then let's go check the cafe first and then I'll check the casino. But yeah, it's been a while since I actually played this game. It's been a month. So yeah, I'm low on money and I'm... I think my equipment is still good. They don't. They didn't release any new 13 stars that beat Austere yet. Well, with the damage that I want. Along with the 11 star units. Other than the Tagami set, because the 11 star Tagami is pretty good, but you'll need to farm Tagamis to get it. Okay, so the cafe went back to its regular scenery. Unless something's wrong with my game right now, and it didn't update itself correctly. Alright, so this guy still have has um, four client order quests. Let's see what else is missing. Item shop... Uh, no. Item shop most likely will be the same thing like the... Yeah, Mono Mace and other good stuff. Uh, the ring shop, let's see. 
Most of these rings look the same other than these. And I don't farm as much anymore. Freeze burn. A launcher mode. Standing sign. Yeah, these are new to me, so I'll need to figure out what the hell those things can do. Uh, everything else still looks the same in the cafe. Can I still jump up over there? But yeah, uh... I don't want to check out the clothing and accessories, because they, they might cost a lot as well. So let's go check up on the casino. Hmm... <laughs> I need to figure out how to unlock that new map anyways, and then most likely I'll make a video explaining how you can unlock it. I know that they got those Arkuma slots, and those help you get star gems. Alright, so Casino... Still got the same people, let me check their um, prize counter shop. Still the same normal prizes. Alright, this is new. So you can trade in casino coins for some star gems. It's not a lot. You can only exchange it one time for 10 star gem tickets, and then you can exchange it five, six times for the uh, five star gem tickets. Ill stack, you can get at least 30 star gems, but you'll be spending around what, 1,700 times 6? You'll be spending around maybe 10,000 casino coins up? Oh, yeah, somewhere around 10,000. They still get. Okay, wait, corn. Okay, corn is not the same like Sharonia, because Sharonia is where you can farm for the sake units and stuff. They still got the Tokyo expiration triggers for the tank and the train. Allowing you to get 13 stars. Uh, then they got the extreme pass. They still got the stones in here. They have Lamba Grinders. Now, 250 casino coins. It's okay if you have nothing else to spend for casino coins. But these things are kind of important when it comes to getting your austere weapons. And if you're trying to get more money then trying to get lamba grinders extreme passes can help you if you plan to farm uh but yeah everything else kind of looks the same no it's still the same sort of the only thing they added was the star gems now let me check over here yeah the kuma slots can i actually play you i can let me view the explanation for this and it's in japanese oh my god uh I can go blind with this, but most likely I'll try that in its own different video. Alright, so this is jackpot one, there's a prize, another prize counter. Uh, they still got the Meseta Shooter, they got the Lilipa Roulette. This is still close for four. And then they got Black Nyok and Rappy Slots. It doesn't seem like there's anything new for the casino area. Now let me go bother Zig and all of the people in the shop area, see what's new over there. Yeah, I'm not cutting away anyways, uh, too lazy to edit this one. The bridge area, I haven't even touched the storyline, so I'm gonna ignore that. Let's go to the shop area. Wait, oh god, I broke my chair, holy fuck. <laughs> Well, fuck me! Uh, this is gonna be awkward for me to talk about. How long has this chair been with me? Well, shit! I broke a chair, people! <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Ignoring that, that, hopefully it loads me up to the shop area. There we go. Okay, so... Wait, why can't I use my regular... Oh, my mouse was acting up. Alright, so they have a tree over here. Let me look around and see if anything's new. Uh, they still got the bio weapons here. 11 star weapons, all class. Along with the other 11 stars you can get. 
They still got the same 11 star units from Extreme Quest. Uh, other exchange. You still exchange stuff for stones. Okay, this is still the same. Alright, this is the same stuff. Let's see if there's anything different. Shiny stone exchange. And my leg just went numb as well. Everything looks the same still. Most likely these are the same as well. Most likely these are the same 12 star weapons. Right, okay. Godstone. Godstone. I never heard of this one. Unless it's been here, but... That's a strange name. Okay, yeah, these weapons, yeah, they've been here. Nothing change? Yeah, these are Ares weapons. Other exchanges. Uh, looks like everything's still the same. Sort of. I can't read that, though. Uh, challenge miles, I can't do. Let's see the X-Cubes. Is there anything else that you can exchange with X-Cubes? No, same stuff still. Extreme... Wait, did they lower this down? No, no, no. What the hell is this? I don't know what this item is. Hmm. I'll look into that later. Uh, but yeah, it looks like everything's still the same. Uh. Still the same stuff here, too. Okay, uh, I don't know what the new stuff they added, other than that new Quest Arcs League tab. Um, let me check up here, I don't see anything over here. Let's see if they add anything new with the uh, fixing and grinding. Okay, so they organized it into categories, which is pretty good, so people don't get confused. <laughs> Old style only. So, yeah, that only points out to the old style weapons, uh, item grinding, and add abilities. Alright, so the new item grinding is just for new type grinding, I think. Hold on. No, it should be for all type of grindings, it just depends on... Yeah. Alright, yeah, item grinding is just grinding in general, then the old style category just helps you with... Um, unlocking old potentials because in new grinding you don't need to actually um, plus you don't need a what was it plus seven it I forgot what was the max grind for this game actually can I look at a weapon right now was it plus seven me I still got a bunch of unteched weapons great plus ten so technically you don't need a plus ten it Unlock potential, restart, and then plus 10 again. When it comes to new type grinding, all you have to do is grind straight away. So once you hit plus 10, for example, you have the ability to unlock the potential. Now, if you don't unlock the potential... You know what? I'll make a separate video explaining that stuff. Let's see if you have anything new. Uh, what the heck did I do? Alright, so you have the same quest still. How about your shop? Still the same stuff. How about material return? Nah, okay. Looks like everything is still the same here. Um, I'll go more over on where you can get equipment and stuff if you're still new to the game. Material return. Okay, I already click on you. Stop clicking on that. Genesis weapons. This, These camels you can get if you do the storyline and get that specific item from Zig. These you can get, orbit weapons you can get from doing mining defense for and collecting a bunch of those fragments for mining defense. Okay, you didn't change, so, hmm. They still got this thing in the lobby. Oh god, thinking about it, I think I missed a bunch of free lobby actions I could have got. Oh well. I think everything is still the same over here, it's just that when it comes to quests and just gameplay in general, it changed drastically. Unless I haven't touched my room in the crafting stuff, but I'm not a crafter now, so I wouldn't be able to notice it as much. Who are these two? Ethan and Seasonal Client. Are they gonna give me some quests? Come on. 
Alright, so yeah, he unlocked some quests for me. Where do these two come from anyways? I have no clue. But yeah, apparently, um, nothing really changed or stood out to me, I guess. The game is still... You, you'll still have to make go the hard way. You still need to grind. You still need to level up. Um, the only thing that... The only new... St the new stuff most likely benefits to the in-game players where they can... Well, no. I'm speaking out of terms now. I'm just blabbering nonsense. Okay. Uh, that's it for this episode. I just wanted to see if there's anything that's noticeable. But the only thing that I see... Actually... Yeah, you've been here last time, right? Oh, now I got client orders from her, her too, so... Yeah, she... How about my mentors, actually? I'm a fighter, so I need to talk to you. Uh, the perfect fighter. Okay, so that's the... Once you hit level 75 and you collect those class cubes, you can technically do that. But that's nothing new. Yeah, the only thing that stood out to me is this chick right here, the Arcs League Admin Mimi. Mimi. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else that stood out. Um, limited quests, they've been here. It's just that no one's been doing them. Because it's not brand new. And then there's emergency quests as well, but... Um, I need to check the schedule for that again and see what's the new type. But yeah, uh... Okay, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys around. Peace.